Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Bottom left in the corner, we have Doodle starting as the red Protoss 3 clock location. We have Advil starting as the orange chair, and this is on Monopoly, which has the 10 mineral patches instead of the usual 9 inside the base, which means you have a little bit more resource to work with in the form of mineral. <clears throat> which can be... I'm actually trying to think who does that favor more, Protoss or Terran, and I think that might actually favor Protoss a bit more. Because Terran is usually on the gas-heavy units mid-game, where Zealots are useful all game long, right? Also Shuttles, mineral-only units. So, <clears throat> I'm curious to see what the PVT statistics are, actually, on this map in particular. However, I do feel like Protoss end up with a short end of the stick... Only because the mid areas, uh, controlling your army through these sections, where you have these divides into the middle. It's actually interesting that they kind of went with this, um, this triangle thing here in the middle. And I think that is almost indicative of the direction that the troops are going to end up going. You also have the, I guess I want to point out the double gas here for a moment. But really, the troop movement across the middle of the map, having to sweep across this area into siege tank lines, is... If you just play standard Terran, it feels like you can and just slow push your way out. Don't play economically greedy and just allow your opponent to just flail. Throw units into your siege lines. You end up in a stronger position than not. Doodle opening up with the 14 Nexus last match, or sorry, 12 Nexus last match, and sailing it all the way to victory. I'm wondering if he can do the same in this match. It looks like instead he's going to open up a simulator first. Actually, I almost wanted to see the counter 14 Command Center is what I was thinking from Advil. It looks like Advil, however, setting up for a refinery and a barracks. Interior 2's base not going for a front door seal. He is going to scout that upper left-hand corner first. It's so going to come across Doodle's base last. And Doodle already has the probe in position to plop down that cybernetic score. See if he produces initial zealot. Looks like he's going to... Nope. He is going to go for that initial zealot potentially to blockade out that SCV. But I gotta say, Doodle is looking fantastic. Looking fantastic. In that last match. And really, the sharp level of play that... I think goes all the way to a championship if he can keep it up across all his matches. Looking in really fine shape this season. He's gonna get first scout. Fortune favors the... Bold? I'm not sure how bold it is to send out a lone probe... On the map like this. First Marine is not going to be able to seal that front door. Factory being built. Zealot's actually making its way across upon seeing that there's no front door seal. See how much damage he can get out of that. SCV able to sneak in but did not see the Zealot cross paths. Has to know that something's up because the Dragoon is going to come out a little bit later. That's kind of one of those game sense timing things. So the probe actually backing off and a probe plus a Zealot is actually... I know it doesn't seem like it but that is stronger than just a single Zealot. So the Lone Marine... Blocking at the natural. Advil not microing it all that well, so it takes a face shot immediately. This might be... Might want to chalk this up to lag as well. Double factory being built. So scouting information at least happening for Doodle. He's... Even though the Zealot may not be able to get kills here, and it looks like he's easily being dispatched, he is able to confirm two factory play. And with that, Doodle, recognizing that he's outnumbered and that Advil is just going to out-micro, exits! And keeps that Zealot alive. Needs to be careful. Is trying to, the SV trying to blockade to allow those Marines now to hunt that Zealot down. But yeah, SV gets wiped out. Marines are going to return to home base. Now it is up to Doodle. Do you know how to defend against this? First tank in production. Additional Marines filtering out. Now, I take it back. Doodle immediately getting aggressive. Wanting to keep the troop count light before Advil is able to capitalize and with the Dragoon and a probe pushing in. Are you kidding me? A single Dragoon and probe able to sneak in. And Advil going to GG right there. Feeling that felt like, well, definitely a premature GG, but... Potentially feeling he just didn't have enough troops because Doodle... Kept the troop count too low. The first siege tank was about halfway there. There was another Dragoon, so it was going to be two Dragoons versus a siege tank and some SCVs. That is defendable. But I like Doodle's play there, despite... So recognizing he was going up against two factory, with his one gateway still applying pressure, catching Advil off guard, 
to keep that initial troop count low to optionally defend something more down the line and create chaos in Advil's base. And Advil, upon seeing, the, okay, the factory, the double factory push being scouted, but yeah, calling GG. Feels premature, but Doodle advances to the round of four. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.